Day two here at the 2019 Bioinvestor Forum in San Francisco. I'm Christine Corrado with Proactive Investors. Joining me right now is Norman Rogers. He's the head of business development at American Gene Technologies. Norman, great to meet you. It's good to meet you as well. Norman, tell me a bit about the company to start off with. So we're a gene and cell therapy company. We've been around for 11 years. We have three programs in our uh, near-term pipeline. A program designed to be curative for phenylketonuria an immune oncology program demonstrating 85% complete remission in mouse models uh, with abscopal effect. And most excitingly, we just submitted the IND a week ago for an autologous cell therapy designed to cure HIV. And that's obviously your most advanced program. Absolutely, then. that's our lead program. What kind of data have you seen from that program so far? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so as part of our IND enabling, we actually had to run the cell process on 13 HIV positive human volunteers. Okay. And now of course we can't put that blood product back into the patients until the phase one begins, hopefully in December this year. But we can test that blood product uh, for its ability to clear HIV and uh, produce a, an immune response to it. Uh, that result was so startling that it attracted collaborators like NIAD to uh, validate the work. They've since validated it, and uh, we're, we're very excited to, uh, to infuse our first patients. In the, what was so startling December. about the results? So the, uh, the blood product was able to clear itself of HIV. Okay. Um, which, you know, that's not a mouse model, that's not a cell line. That's right. A patient model, and uh, you know when you when you demonstrate efficacy inside of a patient model, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. That's that's as good as preclinical results will get. So when I guess I know biotechs can't really give a lot of timelines, but obviously the IND takes around 30 days, and then where will you go from there? Well, we'll begin our phase one. Uh, we'll hopefully treat our first patients in December, uh, if not, you know, January. Uh, Inside of a few months, we'll have our first uh, efficacy readouts. Uh, the first week, we should have a, a good sight line on safety. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, a cell process like this would show um, you know, acute interactions early. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't anticipate that. We're, um, we're very similar to a process called CAR-T, okay. uh, but far fewer cells and a uh, less toxic modification. We're, we're subtracting something from the outside of the cell instead of adding something to the outside of the cell. So we anticipate that that, uh, that program will be very safe. Uh, then in six months, we should have efficacy readouts that are convincing to the, uh, the larger community that uh, we, uh, we likely have a cure for HIV. Can you talk more about how your technology is so unique? You mentioned the differences between CAR-T therapies, but I mean... Sure, absolutely. So I mentioned CAR-T because CAR-T is an example of an autologous cell therapy where you take T cells from the body, genetically modify them, and replace them in the body. Hmm. And so our therapy does much the same. We take T cells out of the body, genetically modify them, and replace them. The, um, now, of course, we're not using a car to attack HIV. We need a different genetic modification. So it turns out that 0.7% of Northern Europeans are immune to HIV. Hmm. Right? And they're missing one gene. So that, that gene is called CCR5, right. and that's, that's the gene that we're deleting in T cells. Now, going back to CAR-T, CAR-T is modification of T cells. HIV is uh, a disease that infects T cells. Right? So if you have a reliable way to modify T cells, you have a genetic mutation that you understand to be curative for HIV, and you bring those two things together with a lot of bridge building in between, uh, you, you, know, you might have something curative. So it's different in CAR-T that we're selecting for a, uh, a subset of T cells that we believe are important or cr the critical uh, sort of linchpin to, uh, to the HIV virus, or it's the first cell cellular subset for, that HIV destroys when, it, uh, when the infection begins or in the acute phase of infection. So we're restoring that population uh, and protecting them from being co-opted by the virus. Relatively... Um early stages right now, but do you have enough funding to kind of carry you forward into, yes. <laughs> into these milestones? Yes, absolutely. We're raising a round now. Uh, <laughs> do you mind if I share? Sure. Uh, we're raising a $25 million round right now at a $240 million pre. Uh, and the, uh, it's going well. It's going well. The, uh, the funds are rolling in. Eight's in the door already. And uh, we anticipate that with the submission of the IND last week, uh, we'll be closing the round soon.
Definitely. We're well, looking forward to following the company's progress. Norman, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.